Okay guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to make overlapping runs. And if you don't know what that is, just watch this video from start to finish. I'm gonna break this down. This way, when you get to your next game, you're going to be able to be the player who's either passing the ball to a player who's making an overlap run, or you're the player who's making the overlapping run. So here's how I'm gonna break this down. It's very simple. Let's say you're right here. You're the, you're the big X. You have the ball and there's a defender right here. And here's a teammate of yours. They're kind of tucked inside the field here. If you have the ball, right now you're 1v1 with this player here. There's a couple things that you can do. You can look to beat them 1v1, you can try to cut inside the field, and obviously there's gonna be more defenders in this way um, that are playing in the back four, or you can be more patient. And this is what I love to see. I love to see players who are patient in the attack Players that understand that they don't need to rush and force things. So here's what you can do. You can have a teammate that's tucked inside the field here. They're going to look to make a run this way here. They're, that's called an overlapping run. So what you can do as the attacker, you are putting pressure on this defender here. And maybe you can look to cut inside the field here. And as you're going at the defender, your teammate is going to be making a run this way down the line. And so what you can do is this puts a lot of pressure on the defender because now they have to decide, are they going to try to guard this guy that's making this run or are they gonna to try to stay with you? And this puts you in a 2v1 situation, which is great because now what you can do is you make the defender guess. You make them have a lot of pressure. So as we go at them, if this player is making a smart run, now we look to just lay the ball off into the space. And this player here can now have the opportunity to, to whip a ball in, they can cross it in, or if you decide not to play it, now you can cut inside this way and look to take a shot or look to pass the ball on. But this is a great thing that you can do when you get to your next game. And I, this is something I recommend doing in practice. You don't have to start you know, right here or over here. You can pretty much start making these runs from anywhere as long as you time this the right way. And if you wanna look to create more 2v1 opportunities in the attacking third, when you don't have the ball, you need to make sure that you understand who has it and can we start making more overlapping runs. And the reality is you're not going to get the ball every single time you do this uh, because whoever has the ball, it's really up to them if they're gonna look to make a smart pass or if they're, you're just kind of using that run to create more space for the attacker who has the ball. So these are things you can start doing uh, coming up in your next couple games. And I really highly recommend if you are a right back or a left back, I get so many comments and questions from players who play defense about how they want to join the attack more. If you ever watch Danny Alves or really any top level right or left back, they're constantly making these runs. So they're starting these runs from back here uh, and they're getting up the field. This puts them in a position where they're pretty much playing like right mid or left mid because now they're not just waiting in the back they're making these overlapping runs when their right or left mids have the ball. And this puts them into the attacking third at a higher position. So what I want you to try to do is think about that uh, coming up. And if you have any questions about uh, anything more in depth about overlapping runs, just comment below and uh, I'm here to help out.